The SEC's inspector general found some of the violators spent more time watching porn than watching the markets. Even critics say as the agency was turning a blind eye to Bernie Madoff's fraud scheme and the looming financial crisis. And you read about federal employees doing that, uh, you think it's another example of the waste of taxpayers' money. More than half of the 31 offenders were highly paid staffers, making between $100 and $225,000 a year, including a senior attorney whose SEC laptop contained 775 inappropriate images, an accountant who tried to access sexual or pornographic websites 16,000 times in one month, and another senior attorney who admitted to spending up to eight hours a day downloading porn even after it swamped his hard drive. SEC officials argue that for an agency of 4,000 people, 31 violations in two and a half years is actually not bad. According to a Nielsen survey, in March alone, 29% of Americans with work computers used them to access adult websites, spending an average of one hour and 45 minutes on such sites over the course of the month. Michael Robinson is a former SEC spokesman. This is a salacious issue, especially because it happened at a regulatory organization that's at the center of a lot of the controversy that's going around right now. But, uh, you know, tragically, this is an issue that most companies and most organizations struggle with uh, across the country and around the world. The SEC says all the offenders were detected by the agency's own surveillance system and were either disciplined or, in at least one case, dismissed. Katie? All right. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill tonight. Thanks, Nancy.